We know cats are real, we know guinea pigs are real, snakes, real, turtles, real. But some animals, there are some animals that are so freakishly odd that... When you see them, do you know what you'll say? You'll say, well, I can't believe that critter is real. These are unusual animals that are hard to believe are real. Number 15. Greater Sage Grouse Also known as the Sage Hen, the Greater Sage Grouse is the largest type of grouse in North America, and definitely one of the most peculiar and easiest to recognize. Growing up to 30 inches tall, they have surprisingly pointy tail feathers, which are thought to be involved in the process of finding a mate. They have one of the most unusual courting rituals of any animal, where the male strut around and pull off some moves to show how fit and healthy they are. They'll do this for several hours, each morning and evening, and those with the largest and most colorful plumage, as well as the best dance moves, are seen as more desirable, and will, therefore, get their first choice of the females. Greater sage grooses rarely see any need to leave their breeding grounds and spend their time foraging through shrubland in search of plants and insects. Their reliance on land that's familiar to them has resulted in mass population losses in recent decades, as it's developed for human uses, and they're now classified as being near-threatened. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Peacock Mantis Shrimp The Peacock Mantis Shrimp is a stunning variety of mantis shrimp that's native to the Indo-Pacific. Due to their coloration, they are popularly kept in home aquaria. But if you ever decide to keep one, you need to take care, because they have one of the most vicious hunting methods in the animal kingdom. Typically growing between 1 and 7 inches long, they are mainly green, but have orange legs and spots across their bodies. In the wild, they spend most of their lives hiding within cracks and crevices within rock formations and reefs, and wait for their prey of crustaceans and gastropods to pass by. When the moment is right, they punch with a specialized claw and instantly kill or knock out their target. The speed at which they do this is incredible, and can be up to 50 miles per hour, or the same acceleration of a .22 caliber handgun. Of course, this also means that if you keep one in a tank, it's more than capable of breaking the glass, so extra measures have to be taken to make sure this doesn't happen. Number 13. Mexican Walking Fish while you might expect every fish in the world to rely on fins to swim through the water, there's one that has developed in a very different way, the Mexican walking fish, which is also known as an axolotl. They aren't actually technically fish, but are instead a species of amphibian that's closely related to the salamander, and have only ever been found in several lakes in and around Mexico. The common name for axolotls is Mexican walking fish, but in fact they're not a fish at all. Growing up to 18 inches long, they are unusual in that they are the only amphibians that grow to adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. They are somewhat of a biological curiosity, as they have a remarkable ability to regenerate virtually any part of their body that has been damaged or removed. This includes limbs, internal organs like lungs and the heart, and even parts of their spinal cords and brain tissue. It only takes a few weeks for them to completely repair themselves, but there appears to be a limit of how often this can happen, with some studies showing that once a limb has been detached a fifth time, it'll scar over instead of regrowing. Number 12. Eye Eye this creepy-looking creature is an eye-eye, a species of primate that's native to Madagascar. They're the largest nocturnal primates in the world, and if their faces look creepy enough, you should see their hands. They have a strangely elongated middle finger, and this is actually a clever adaptation that's vital to the way that they hunt. They prey mainly on grubs that live inside trees, and to find them, they start by tapping on the bark to work out exactly where they are. Next, they gnaw at the wood with their teeth, which never stop growing. 
crikey. And once a hole is opened up, they stick this long finger in to retrieve the meal. It's essentially a very similar way to how woodpeckers hunt for their food. But in Madagascar, and I eyes have taken on this role. They aren't exactly popular with the locals, however, who see them as harbingers of doom. If an I.I. shows you its middle finger, it's thought to be a sign that you or someone you know is about to die. And it's regarded as bad luck if one enters your village. The only way to evade the curse is to kill it, which is why, for a while, the species was at risk of extinction until conservation efforts helped to restore their population numbers. Number 11. Red-Lipped Batfish you will have seen fish in all shapes and sizes, but have you ever seen one as strange looking as the red-lipped batfish? Native to the waters of the Galapagos Islands and around the coast of Peru, it's a surprise that these 15-inch long creatures can even survive at all. They're very bad swimmers and instead use their specially adapted fins to essentially walk along the sea floor. Once they reach adulthood, another of their fins develops into a spine that protrudes out from the front of their head, and this is believed to encourage small fish and invertebrates to come within their grasp. Of course, the most notable feature of this species is their remarkably bright red lips, almost looking as if they have recently applied a thick coat of lipstick. But this probably has a biological reason behind it too. Researchers believe that during spawning, it allows the species to recognize each other more easily amongst the other types of batfish, which enables them to breed quicker and continue the bloodline. While they can mate with other batfish, their unique colorations are a recessive gene, so are completely lost in the offspring. Number 10. Brazilian Treehopper Brazilian treehoppers, which are native to the Amazon rainforest, are some of the strangest insects you'll ever see. No more than the size of a pea, they have an unusual structure, known as a pronotum, that extends behind their heads and have a series of orbs attached to them. Quite what the purpose of this is, no one's entirely sure, but it's thought to be an ingenious deceptive technique to deter predators. There's a fungus in the rainforest that infests ants. When it takes hold, it controls their bodies and develops a similar type of protrusion from their heads like the one seen on the Brazilian treehopper. This gives the treehopper a much better chance of surviving for long enough to mate and lay their eggs and continue this strange life cycle. They don't, however, actually pose any risk at all to anything else in the rainforest. So if you were to accidentally eat one, there's nothing to worry about. Number 9. Long Waddled Umbrella Bird Native to regions in Colombia and Ecuador, the long-waddled umbrella bird is one of the strangest creatures you'll see sat in the jungle canopy. Growing to up to 16 inches tall, they have large head crests, but get their name because of the inflatable waddles along the necks of the males. They can be up to 14 inches long and are covered in short, scaly feathers that are used to attract females. The males will perform a dance in a clearing, where they strut around and inflate their waddles, and those that put on an impressive enough display will be rewarded with a mate. Because of their size, this species is one of the easiest to hunt in the jungle. So because of the threat by natural predators and from humans, their population numbers are in rapid decline. Very few of them live in protected areas. So while they're not at immediate threat of extinction, they're considered to be vulnerable within somewhere between 6 and 15,000 mature birds still thought to be in the wild. Plans are underway to combine nature reserves across the region in the hope that it'll afford these animals further protection, but until this happens, they remain at risk. Number 8. Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko The island of Madagascar is home to countless species that aren't seen anywhere else in the world. But perhaps the strangest is the ominously named Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko. Growing to just 4 inches long, they live in the trees of tropical forests and have developed a unique way of camouflaging in with their surroundings. This guy is just absolutely gorgeous similar to other related species, but this one in particular looks just like a leaf. When they're sat in the trees, their tails flicker in the wind, and it's almost impossible to distinguish them from actual leaves. The nocturnal gecko can be a wide range of colors, including purple, orange, tan, yellow, and brown, which further helps with their camouflage. And in a similar way to other geckos, they have long sticky tongues that they can shoot out to capture small insects for them to eat. They are often kept as pets because of their 
unusual appearance, and this is helping efforts of conservation. Because they are only found in very specific areas of the island's jungles, they are more susceptible to deforestation and climate change than many other animals, and are under severe threat of extinction in the wild. Number 7. Leafy Sea Dragon Leafy sea dragons are endemic to the waters around Australia, particularly on reefs, and are closely related to pipefish and seahorses. They have long, leaf-like protrusions across their entire bodies, which have no purpose other than to aid with camouflage. They therefore spend most of their time within tufts of seaweed, where they blend in, and feed on plankton and small shellfish. Just absolutely exquisite. Growing to up to 10 inches tall, they have almost transparent fins that allows them to maintain their illusions of being a piece of seaweed, even when they're swimming. They're also able, on occasions, to change color to adapt to their surroundings, but can only do this when certain conditions are met. The leafy sea dragon is the official marine emblem of South Australia and have a protected status across the country. It's therefore illegal to remove them from the water, with substantial penalties given to anyone found doing so. This doesn't stop some people from trying to get a hold of them as pets though, but because of the difficulty in obtaining them, each individual can cost in the region of 10 to 15 thousand dollars. Number 6. The Pink Fairy Armadillo Armadillos are amazing creatures and can be peculiar at the best of times, but there's one unique variety that can only be found in central Argentina that's particularly unusual, known as the Pink Fairy. <coughs> They live in the sand and the grasslands of the region, and are easily recognizable by the yellowish-white fur around the dorsal shell. As nocturnal creatures that live in burrows beneath the surface, it's very rare to actually see one, especially as they only grow to around 5 inches long. In the environment where they live, temperatures can change drastically between the heat during the day and the cold at night, and the fine fluffy hair has been found to be crucial to their thermoregulation, particularly in the way that it helps them to conserve heat while they're outside of their burrows. It's not entirely clear how many are actually in the wild, but human activity is believed to have a detrimental impact on their numbers. Now categorized as threatened, they're a species that are known to be prone to stress, so any attempts to monitor them have had to be conducted very carefully. Number 5. Lowland Streaked Tenric if you ever visit the lowland tropical forests of Madagascar, there's a chance you might encounter one of the island's most unusual inhabitants, the lowland streaked tenric. At up to 5.5 inches long, they spend their lives burrowing underground, searching the surface for worms and invertebrates to eat, or paddling in shallow waters. They have black spines across their bodies, with a yellow collar and stripes along their backs, and this spiky appearance helps to deter any predators from attacking. Some of these quills are barbed, and can become detached if they become caught on another animal, which means that if anything does try their chances, they'll soon learn their lesson. The creatures almost look like they're a cross between a hedgehog and a shrew, but they have longer limbs for digging, and an elongated snout that helps them forage in the dirt for snacks. Amazingly, they're able to adapt to their environment, so much that, when temperatures fall, they can reduce their body temperatures to conserve energy. Once the full force of winter moves in, though, They'll hibernate like many other animals and ride it out until spring, when it becomes warmer again. Number 4. Yeti Crab the depths of the ocean are full of strange creatures, but in 2005, during a dive in the South Pacific Ocean, researchers couldn't believe their eyes when they saw a new species of crustacean, one that's since become known as the Yeti Crab. Scientists have found a lost world of odd species living in waters near Antarctica. Growing to around 6 inches long, in most ways they're very similar to other crab species, but with two noticeable differences. The first is that they have very little pigment in their eyes, so are believed believed to be totally blind, and the second is the presence of fine blonde setae across their entire bodies that make them look like they're covered in fur. The reasons for these structures can be found within the environment where they live, because they are only ever seen around hydrothermal vents. These volcanic outlets emit huge quantities of poisonous minerals, and the Yeti crab's hairs contain specific types of bacteria that can detoxify the water. It's essentially a portable filter that gives them access to areas of the ocean where other creatures can't go and gives them a significant advantage when trying to escape from predators or when trying to hunt prey for themselves.
Number 3. Panda Ant if you are walking through the forests of Chile, keep an eye out because you might see one of the cutest insects in the animal kingdom, the panda ant. Growing to just a third of an inch long, they are covered in a white furry coat, apart from their eyes and black spots across their bodies. But don't even think of picking one of these critters up, because there's more going on here than it first appears. This isn't an ant at all, but is, instead, a species of wingless wasp. Its coloration is a warning to potential predators to stay clear, because they are equipped with a powerful sting that can inflict excruciating pain to whatever it targets. They are also able to produce sounds by rubbing parts of their body together. And while this is audible to humans, it's also believed that there's an ultrasonic element to the noise too, which is beyond our audible range. They could be calling for assistance from others if you get too close, and you wouldn't have any idea it was happening until it's too late. Number 2. Earthquake Predicting Giant Ore Fish of all the mysterious fish that live in the depths, one of the most legendary is the giant ore fish. Members of this ancient species are the longest bony fish that we know of, and can grow in excess of 26 feet. They get their name because it used to be thought that they propelled themselves through the water by specialized scales that act like oars, but more recent studies have found it more likely that they swim in a similar way to eels or snakes. Why these animals venture out from deeper waters is unknown. Known. It's difficult to know for sure, though, because they live at depths of at least 660 feet, which is lower than most submarines can go. The most peculiar thing about the oarfish, however, is how they've become a part of the local folklore around Japan and other countries around the Pacific. They are very rarely seen, but quite often, when they are found washed up on a beach, it's said that a tsunami will soon follow. Could it be that these creatures know that a powerful wave is about to strike, so take refuge on a beach in advance? Or is it a superstition and, in fact, it's the power of the tsunami that drags them up from the deep. Number 1. Saiga Antelope Saiga antelope were once native to regions across Eurasia, but now can only be seen in the wild in some parts of Russia and Kazakhstan. They have become extinct everywhere else as a result of hunting, and are considered critically endangered because of the few that remain in the wild, and the threats that remain. Growing to around 32 inches tall to the shoulder and weighing up to 150 pounds, this species of antelope has several unusual features compared to their relatives. The main one is their nose, which has evolved in particular clearly dusty environments, and can actually be inflated so it hangs over their mouths and helps to filter the fine particles from the air. Herds will consist of one male with up to 50 females, and each November, during breeding season, the males fight with one another to assert their dominance and take control of the group for the following year. Unfortunately, they are still victim to extensive hunting, mainly because of the demand for their horns that are used in traditional Chinese medicine. Only the males have horns, and they can measure up to 38 centimeters long. Each horn is thought to be worth as much as $5,000 on the black market, and until this is dealt with, the species hasn't got a hope of long-term survival. Which of these did you find to be the most unbelievable? And do you think there's anything even stranger that we still haven't discovered? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.